What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Sun and Life. And Katie. And we are finally in Canada. This we're, is our first video on Canada. Yeah, guys, we're exploring the beautiful country of Canada. And this is our first video in Canada. Uh, we just want to give you guys an update on how our travels are going. Looks like uh, we're driving into Toronto. Mm -hmm. Now. We're driving into the Toronto metropolitan area. It's already five in the afternoon, we've driven all day, so we're not gonna drive into the actual city of Toronto on this video, but this is just giving you an idea of what it's like to drive into Toronto. Um, and we're tired, we're gonna get a hotel in the suburbs and we'll start exploring tomorrow. Now, what's interesting here is that it looks exactly like America. I mean, other than like maybe the roads are better, the infrastructure looks a little bit better, um, and the traffic is much more kind of. You can pass these semis. <coughs> more orderly, I think, than the United States. I think in the United States, people really drive like idiots. They're all passing each other. They're all just in a in a road rage madness seems like here um i have not got flicked off once no they, they drive they drive much better civilized. yeah they're very civilized when yeah. they're driving um temperature 66 degrees it's kind of cold for me from florida it's a cold day in canada it feels good for me yeah because uh, <clears throat> i like cold but you know it's a great um, great infrastructure speed limits are a little bit lower than the United States but nobody's passing everybody it's just very orderly it feels like in the United States driving is almost scary and dangerous because people are all passing each other here like they post up the actual fines you're gonna get like you'll see signs telling you how much of a ticket you're gonna get so it seems like um, we even saw a fine earlier where it said if you speed, the ticket is $10,000. If you go up, way above the speed limit, you can get up to a $10,000 fine. So I would say uh, Canada has really figured out how to make their roads safer. Uh, lower speed limit and just the way people drive. Also, um, you know, like good infrastructure. It seems like it's very... Uh, Very, uh, and most of the vehicles that I've seen are like vehicles that are working, like semis and. Yeah, yeah. Let's imagine there's 10 million people in the yeah. Toronto metro area. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it looks exactly like driving through the United States. Yeah. Just subtle differences. Um, obviously, the speed limit is in kilometers, not in miles. Yeah. We got off at a gas station. These things right here. They're called on route mm -hmm. and it's like a gas station with a bunch of restaurants so instead of getting out like in, in the united states you usually get out and go to 10 different places here if you're getting off at an off ramp there's everything in that one exit inside one building and that makes sense because if it's snowing or whatever mm -hmm. uh you know you don't want to be jumping across parking lots it's all inside one building So it would probably make more sense in the winter. They're horribly rated though. The ratings for all the businesses are bad. I guess people here only leave bad reviews, no good reviews, so that's kind of interesting. And the radio's awesome. It's like an Indian radio station. The music is amazing. I've never heard Indian music. I like it. It's like I love it. It's like so it almost sounds like Spanish music, but with more like way more melody. <laughs> lots of melody and then like the radio station it's interesting because like they speak in whatever language they speak but then every once in a while they throw some english words so you understand the context of what they're talking about but that's it they're like bah, 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 cuban link chain bah, 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 liberal government you're just like okay I, it's about a liberal government buying cuban chains that's all i got from the radio but i love it because the music sounds really fun and then randomly you hear bring it on bring it on <laughs> Bring it on. Like, you just catch the context of what's like, Look yeah. at that. A moose? Oh, a pigeon loft. Yeah, 
that's a pigeon loft. Wow, the pigeon racing is huge here in Canada. It really is. Good eye for seeing that. Yeah. A pigeon racing coop. Yeah, that's pretty cool. My first YouTube channel ever was about pigeon racing. Yeah. I cannot get enough of this Indian music. I love it. It's like ha, ba, 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 ba. it's like so, so much melody, and they have like these drums that sound like bongos. Can you please pass this freaking sandwich? Jose, you bro, have... you're like stalled out. Just drive. I'm not stalled out. It's a construction zone. Just drive, bro. Like you've been stalled out. You're going 80 kilometers, bro. That's, That's like 30 you're... miles an hour. Just drive. You're going like 30 miles an hour. You're on an interstate, bro. Go. Yes, in a construction zone. Just drive. Keep up with the other vehicles. You're going like 30 miles an hour, dude. She's been so focused on, on the kilometers thing that she just flow with traffic. Just wherever the cars are going, go with them. Keep up with the little red car. See how it's leaving you behind? Just keep up with cars. You'll be fine. Because Katie's like the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're all slowing down. And the slowing. Stay here. Toronto, there's a sign for Toronto, Toronto. The most law abiding person you're ever gonna meet, Katie. Yeah. And now she doesn't understand the laws because they're in French and, and kilometers, so now she's like Maximum. eighty K. Ignore it. <laughs> Just flow of traffic. Follow cars. Don't worry about what the sign says. Just whatever the cars are doing. Play along. Cause she's like the most law abiding. She's like, I can't get a mile, a kilometer above this. I'm like, you're gonna get ran by a semi. Like Canadian people are patient, Katie, but they only have so much patience. I thought the traffic jams didn't start until you were like right on the outskirts. I guess they start out here already. There's a small slow on here. It's five o'clock. People are getting off work. People work in Canada. Yeah. The government just doesn't give them free stuff like America? No. Oh my. Who knew? But I figured out there's a lot of Indians here because like I got off at the gas station and there was like Indians everywhere. And I turned the radio and it was Indians. I was like, yeah, everything's Indian. Nice. I wanna to listen to the radio so bad. Yeah. It was fun. It was the most fun radio station. I've, I've, I don't listen to the radio anymore, but that station was definitely worth listening to. It was, it was like, even the commercials were interesting. Yeah. You're just trying to figure out what they're saying. They're like, blah, 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 Cuban link chain. Blah, 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 labor government. At one point, I, I figured out I was listening to a real estate commercial. Yeah, they sell real estate on the radio. That's yeah. interesting. I've never even thought about that. That's an interesting one. Like, blah, 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 Woodstock. 500 acres. I'm just like, wow. Canada. But other than that, it, it, like everything is almost identical to the United States. I mean, it, it feels like you're in the United States. Other than speed limits and kilometers, people have drive decently for the most part. Other than Katie, who wants to be a law-abiding citizen. So it doesn't just abide to the laws of America. She abides to the laws of Canada, too. Yes. <clears throat> Seems like they have much better infrastructure, though. I will say that. And I think it may be difficult with all the snow they get up here to keep up with it. Yeah. Vase. Even the graffiti looks more orderly. It, it feels nice to drive here though because like I drove all day and it's like and you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of driving through Kansas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't seen too many out of state people. Yeah. Just us. Mm -hmm. I saw a semi that had Oklahoma tag. That's about it. What are the crap or the moose? I paid good money to see a moose. That'll probably be in the more rural parts, Jose. I'm starting to realize that traveling internationally is a little bit more um, expensive than I thought. 
there's a lot of expenses you don't you know you don't think about when you're traveling internationally yeah well, that's why i want to start traveling internationally in canada so we can start getting an idea of it yeah katie got us uh into the inspection section of the border people yeah yeah she, she made me drive into the wrong place so they thought we were high or something and they went with the most stringent search i've ever seen at any border crossing I thought they were going to deport me back to America. For a moment, I thought they were going to deport me back to America. But they didn't. So, thank you so much for getting us there. And then I after think like, we would have had to go there either way. No, I don't. Because of the Florida tags? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Florida tags are like, what are you bringing? Oh, What's you. in the trunk, my friend? You know? like Yeah. Oh, you're from Florida, and you're Cuban. Oh, where's your Cuban? Oh, you've never had a pat. You've, Please you drive haven't me. been out of the country, so yeah. Yeah, I feel like the Florida tags is a is a red flag. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, that's a long drive. You got rims. Um, and the yeah. cars got rims. Yeah. And when they turn on the radio and they're like, they're like, it's like half a pound, full pound. They're like, oh, you listen to this type of music. Well, that's just gonna make this better. Oh yeah. You just made your life so much better right now. It's on the radio, half a pound, full pound. Oh, okay. Well, we, uh... Yeah, I think the Florida tags might have done it. Yeah. Nothing like having to prove to people you're not a criminal. Mm -hmm. And they're like, do you have any weapons? I'm like, what do y'all consider a weapon out here? So if you're traveling to Canada, you should know that you cannot bring That might have been weapons. the tip off. Yeah, the yeah. amount of weapons in the car. Yeah. They're like, okay. Yeah, we like to go into forests. Like, why do you need a full-on sword here, sir? I'm like, oh, we're going into woods, man. We need a machete. They're like, oh, I'm like okay, nobody's going to hurt you in Canada, sir. This isn't Detroit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you're not in America anymore. You're safe. Look how wide these highways are. Yeah. And clean. There's no potholes. Katie's getting passed by a semi truck. Unbelievable. Oh, it's without a trailer. Well, I mean, they've been passed with some with trailers. I mean, some of them aren't going to have a trailer. Wow, look at the infrastructure. I mean, this is just incredible. Look how wide these highways are. I don't even think Detroit, which is 5 million people, has highways as wide anywhere. I think on infrastructure, they got the USB. Uh -huh. At least in this part of Canada, from what I've seen. Yep. But if you're traveling into Canada, you should know that you'll need Canadian money, of course. It didn't cross my mind until the last minute. You can go to an ATM in Canada and withdraw Canadian money with your American card. Now, I don't know how the conversion works. I mean, I'm just using my debit card now and it's working everywhere. I don't know if there's a conversion or a fee. I don't really know how it's going to work out. Um, but I, I withdrew money. I withdrew 200 Canadian dollars. And it and they look like really hard to copy. Seems like you could really easily duplicate American money. But Canadian money looks very difficult. I mean, like, it's got a picture of, like, um, of, uh, what's the lady on the, on, on the package of pancakes? Queen Elizabeth? No, it's the lady on the, on the, on the pancakes. Mrs. Butterworth? Yeah, it's got a picture of Miss Butterworth. Is that what it is? No, it's a picture of Queen Elizabeth. You sure? Yes. Really? I mm -hmm. thought it was a lady on the pancake box. No. Okay. Oh, look at that tr Milwaukee truck. One of my favorite tools. Lots of new construction. Dollarama. That sounds pretty cool. I mean, it really feels like the United States, except mm -hmm. for everything's newer. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. This looks really nice, actually. Um, you don't even see that many Michigan. Like when we first entered, you saw a few Michigan tags. Yeah. When we stand out with this Florida tag. Yeah. I, I can kind of understand why they didn't. Mm -hmm. The fact that we drove into the wrong area and then. I had out of state tags from Florida. I was like, you're coming from, you're doing a road trip from Florida to Canada. It's kind of an odd thing. You, you think so or no? Yeah. But I was going with Canadians. They go to Florida all the time. 
at all the buildings. Wow. It, it's really a shame when you compare like this to the like Detroit area. Yeah. Do you think anything coming between the United States and Canada has to pass on this highway? From Toronto to Montreal, Quebec. If it's going east to west, it's got to come through here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Lots of industry. I can't believe we're right on the outskirts of Toronto. I'm glad we started off with Canada. I, mean, I feel like if we had gone like Japan or something for our first international yeah. trip, we would have run into some issues. Yeah. And now we can both say that we've been to Canada. Yeah, this is Katie's first time in Canada. No, it's Jose's first time. You were here without me? Yeah. Uh, how come you didn't bring me? I didn't exactly know you back then. What were you doing in Canada? Uh, the first time I went to a place called Wheels Inn. Uh, that was open in Shatham, mm -hmm. or Cheatham, not really sure, but it was really cool. It was like an indoor theme park for kids. They had a water slide, they had a pool that was indoor outdoor. I remember it being really cool. They had an arcade, they had a bowling alley and the whole thing. I remember it being a lot of fun and I won a, a stuffed animal like a stuffed doll Allegra if anybody remembers that Nickelodeon show Allegra's window I won Allegra cool uh, when I was little in Cuba we would cross into Jamaica uh, if anybody's been to Montego we would just swim over there you've never been there mm -hmm. I'm sorry if it wasn't as cool as yours mm -hmm. you went to Mexico and I haven't been to Mexico we were stuck at an airport for four days. Yeah. And we were panhandling practically. So the point where the United Nations people like, just give these people some money so they're not panhandling in the airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you really haven't been. Well, I haven't really... All we did was drive to this hotel and then the other time we just drove through to get to somewhere else. Yeah. I guess they're okay with us blogging for our YouTube channel. Yeah. They're not okay with you working in Canada. Yeah. So I guess we just won't be able to upload as much as we normally do. Mm -hmm. We're going to upload recreationally as like a hobby almost. Yeah. Because I guess they're really strict on coming here to work. But we're not working. Mm -hmm. We're just kind of vacationing. And you're in the backseat with us. Mm -hmm. Like 1% of our audience is Canadian. So I bet they're, they never thought we'd come up here probably. Probably. Our, our audience that's Canadian will love us because, like, they'll be like, wow, you came to Canada. I mean, there's stuff that I just want to enjoy. Like, I don't know what we're doing, but it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I know it's very diverse in Toronto. Lots of... I love how the semi-trucks here have, like, extra axles. Mm hmm And how, like, the speed limit for semis... In cars is about the same like in, in the United States like the semis are like trying to keep up and then they can't so then you have like a nightmare of semis blocking the road or here like everybody's just kind of flowing together they said Toronto traffic will be a nightmare we'll find out I haven't seen a moose yet. Mm -mm. Those are probably in the more rural parts, not like you're gonna see on the side of the road. So we're not gonna see a moose in downtown Tor Toronto. I By don't the way, think so. It's pronounced Toronto. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to emphasize the toe. Toronto. 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 The Toronto. Toe, the toe is very important because mm -hmm. this city was founded by a guy called Tron who broke his toe in Toronto. They were on their way to Detroit with a bunch of women 
and they broke their toe so thus Toronto got the name Toronto because Tron broke his toe in Toronto you'll hear people say Toronto all the locals will tell you it's not Toronto it's Toronto and you really want to emphasize the toe like if like if you broke your toe like Toronto oh Toronto and I'm just doing the locals here in Canada a favor by making sure that people when they come here they know how to pronounce these things right because the last thing you want is a stupid tourist to come from some other part of the world and try to tell people from your country how to pronounce things because that is absolutely ignorant any other thoughts Katie? Canada take me home to the place I belong Toronto Toronto Orlando well like Atlanta people don't say Atlanta they say Atlanta welcome to Atlanta where the play is play and another thing if you come to Toronto the locals love Drake okay it's the only person that's ever came out of Toronto that got famous internationally there's they don't have hockey players they don't have football players the only thing they have is Drake so Please don't make disparaging comments about Drake because it's the only cultural influence they I'll have. Say, yes, love? I could name 10 hockey players that are from Canada. But we're not going to do that because Drake and the people on the streets of Toronto, I mean, if, if you meet somebody, make buy a, a Drake shirt, for example, and just let people know you listen to Drake's music. And that you almost think he's American. Because if you don't, this is, we're going to lose all our Canadian subscribers. Our Canadian, we're going to lose all of, all of our Canadian subscribers are unsubscribing right now. Actually, they're familiar enough with how you. how stupid I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're, they're familiar with how Like, everything you're not supposed to do. Those things go do it. Yeah, like everything you're not supposed to do. And they also, you want to remind them that America's more dangerous. Always remind them. Like, don't ever let a Canadian intimidate you. If a Canadian's like, hey, yo, give me your wallet, cut. And they don't say that. They, they're like, hey, give me your wallet, fam. You got to be like, man, I'm from Detroit, dog. You heard me, Wody. And then they're going to get scared because America's scary, you know. So, like, as an American, don't ever be a pushover in Canada. Like, you're from Detroit. So, even if you're not from Detroit, just say you're from Detroit. And they'll leave you alone. Like, let's say you're walking down the streets in Toronto. Somebody comes up to you and they're like, Hey, fam. I need your wallet, fam. You just be like, What happened, Wody? I feel knowledge, you hear me? And then they're going to be scared and they're going to leave you alone. So, like, basically, the Canadian border people's job is just basically to, to disarm Americans before they enter Canada. <laughs> like, their job just consists of disarming Americans before they come over here. Like, how many weapons? It's not even, <laughs> it's not even like, do you have a weapon? It's like, how many weapons do you have, sir? <laughs> like, it's like, I guess, don't wear a camo shirt either. That doesn't help. As they see the camo shirt, and they're like, well, it's going to take a while to see how many weapons this guy's got. <laughs> yeah, like, you won't need this here. You're safe now in Canada. And it's not Canada. It's Canada. And don't speak French, okay? Speak English. Kenny's like, I don't know you. Uh, yeah. I don't know you. This is probably like the worst guide on traveling to Canada. We've only been in Canada for three hours. We're making a video of what you should do in Canada. Beautiful country, man. It's just It feels like just really mellow. Coming out of the term, it, Detroit, anything to improve it. Bros, bro, 
Brosnani's Brosnan. being in Wisconsin but with less cheese Kay's not even talking she's just like I don't know you mm -hmm. 100 kilometers mm -hmm. oh another thing is the speed limits are 100 miles an hour like I was driving 100 miles an hour the whole way here very scary speed limits here yeah yeah figure that part out it's kilometers not miles per hour so yeah So 82, we're still 82 miles from Toronto. Wow. Well, go figure. There's 10 million people in this metro area, so like. Kilometers. Oh, kilometers. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, that that's more logical. I saw a pigeon racing a lot earlier. I've seen a few. Yeah, there's a lot of pigeon racing here. since we went to Spring Hill. Okay. So, how many times have you been in Canada? Twice, you said? Yeah. And I never really got to, like, enjoy it or go anywhere. You know, it was like, okay, we're going straight to this hotel. Or, okay, we're going straight to the... straight through, maybe stopping for dinner until we get to, like... Niagara Falls. So. You've been in Niagara Falls? That's where we cross back over. Aww. You've seen Niagara Falls and I haven't? How come you don't have pictures there? Because my dad drove through and did not st like he stopped so we could see it but then, like, we were there less than five minutes. So you've seen Niagara Falls? Yeah, briefly. Well, it's better than not seeing it at all. Yeah, I know. No, we'll probably go on the way back or something. All right, buddy. So you've been to Canada, eh? Yeah. All right, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. My only cultural reference to Canadians is South Park, so I got this down pretty good. Subaru that I'd never seen in the United States earlier. Yeah. It maybe just came out or, or something. Oh, and your phone, if you have AT&T, has to go into roaming. Okay. So if 
you have AT&T. How do you put your phone in the roaming? Just like you, the guy made you do it? Yeah, it goes in the settings. So Go into your settings? Mm -hmm. And then roaming? Mm -hmm. And then they'll charge you for that later? Yeah. I hope it's not ridiculous. What do you think? I don't know what it'll be, but I don't think ridiculous. Oh, be careful, buddy. Are there any Cuban restaurants around here? Let's find out. We're close to Brown. Brompton. Mm -hmm. We'll be in Milton soon. We'll be in our hotel about half an hour. There'll be another slowdown. Ooh, Toronto Premium Outlets if you want to go shopping at a mall. Ooh! Nice! Oh, that's coming up in a little bit. There'll be a slowdown. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's anything Cuban. <laughs> we should have got our hotel last night. It would have been so much cheaper. Yeah. But we didn't even know if they were going to let us through. I mean, who knows? Like. Yeah. We'll have to start planning our, our moves a little bit better. Yeah. So while we're here, let's look for Cuban. There's... Uh, Family friendly restaurant. I heard the Cuban and it was amazing. No, not until you get into Toronto. Why don't we get like Canadian food? Uh, excuse you? <laughs> what is Canadian food? Just like American food with maple syrup on it? No. Well, that was rude of you to say. They have their own food styles. Really? See if they have any Latin food. Okay, um Hola Cafe Cuba restaurant. The Latin Hut, La Bonita, a Latin American. Cast there's still yeah, there's a Cuba restaurant. Um you want to go eat first? Sure. 34 minutes. Yeah, that's kind of too far off the beaten path. Okay. It'll be a 30 minute detour. It's too much. Why don't we just go straight to the... Purple Zone? Or, yeah, and then we can get something to eat around there. Because near the hotel, there's nothing cute. Near the hotel, there are restaurants. There's a Colombian restaurant. It's open until 7.30. Oh, it looks amazing. And it's right near the hotel. Why are there Tim Hortons everywhere up here? Because Tim Hortons is awesome. This it's 
rated 4.3. It's a Colombian restaurant. Internet signal is very good, even though we're on roaming. Okay, this is where we're going. La Bonita Latin American restaurant. Okay, we'll be here for seven kilometers, Katie. And if that confuses you, just multiply by 1.6. And divide by 1.6 and divide by 1.6 again. Is that too complicated for you? So, uh, my understanding of Canadians is that they all drove Cadillac DeVille's, but I haven't seen a single Cadillac Coupe DeVille. I thought everybody just drove around in Cadillac Coupe DeVille's. Because in Florida, all the Canadians you see are driving Cadillac Coupe de Ville. So I figured that's just what Canadians drove. But I haven't seen a single one. You're playing so quiet. Through by Hilton. <clears throat> are you okay with Colombian? I would prefer to do something different that I wouldn't have in Florida. Dude, come on, we haven't had any Latin food on this trip. Mexican food doesn't count. That's like its own category. Look at all the traffic going the other way. Where are they all going to? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, I love how they put their prisons by the interstate. <coughs> America hides their prisons. They put their prisons where you can see them. It's like on your daily commute, you can see prison and be like, man, I gotta stay out of jail at all. I think that's a good idea. In America, they put their pr their prisons like in the middle of nowhere where you can't see them. Like you'll never know you can go to prison in America until you're there. You can live in America your whole life and not see a prison until you get sent to one. Meanwhile, in, Can in Canada, you'll see the prison. It's ever like they, they put them by the highway. Not if somebody were to escape. I don't even think Canadian inmates are dangerous like that. I don't think they would escape. That would just be unethical. Sixty-one kilometers to Toronto. Or milk now. Please stay in the lane, Katie. That's what the D D D means. How far is our exit? Uh, quite a, uh, we're 26 kilometers. Okay. And it's not in Toronto, it's in Mississippi. Miss Mississippi? Missis Mississauga. Mississippi. We're staying in Missauga. Mississippi. Missauga. LA Fitness. It's like America, but nicer. Toys and stuff. What's up with these Dollarama things? They're everywhere. Cineplex. Dude. We should go to a Dollarama. Yeah. Best Buy. Nice. A place called The Brick. The Brick. Keep ah! Keep right at the fork to stay on Ontario Moral Crap, what are you doing? I don't know. Keep your eyes on the road, man. Hey, don't look at the store. Look at the road. Step on it, step on it, step on it. You gotta send my step, step. Step on it, bro. Mm -hmm. Pay attention, man. Turn off that stupid cruise control and drive with your foot. It's off. Next time it's gonna be my fist. And no. 
Oh, we're in Canada. You can't be violent here. I think we're supposed to be on that side. Well, you're here now, Katie. That was an exit. That was not it. That was an exit. You're okay. Keep driving. What was that? Uh, yeah, you were supposed to be over there, but it is what it is. Just drive. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, there's a Camry. I've been looking for a Camry since we entered Canada. There we go. Our soulmate Camry. I figured, I mean, they don't have cameras over here, but hey, there's one right there. There's Lexus. I've seen a lot of Mercedes Benzes. <laughs> Which makes sense. If you live in a frigid, frozen wasteland, you want to have some comforts. Hi, we live in Florida by the beach. It's like so nice to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. get one handy. Hey, He's got a flat tire. Yeah. Look how big these malls are. So Toronto has 10 million people. That puts it on par with what? Chicago? A little bit bigger than Chicago. Mm -hmm. That's a metro area. Bigger than Chicago. So you're driving through a city bigger than Chicago right now. Mm -hmm. Look at you driving on the road. In a different country. In a different country, yeah. Driving through Canada. You thought I was gonna get Canadian food. <laughs> they gonna come to Canada and eat Canadian food. We get some Colombian food, bro. Yeah, if, if we're being watched, let's say somebody was like tracking us or something, you go straight from Detroit to a Colombian restaurant in Toronto. <laughs> That's not suspicious. I don't know what is. On trans. You can tell some of these container ships are used up here in the snow a lot because mm -hmm. they're like rusted to crap. Mm -hmm. Ontario, Ontario. Speed up, boy. Mississauga. Mississippi. It's not Mississippi. It's Mississauga. Are there Americans living like in Canada? Yes. Are like normal Americans, yeah. or like are they strange Americans? Like, there's just, like, a guy from Arkansas all of a sudden decided he wants to live in Canada? Possibly. <laughs> Catch your electric vehicle every once in a while. Ow, leg cramp. One more for we in. May. It's May and it's gonna get into the 40s tonight. Mm -hmm. I've been in Florida, it's like hot at night. Mm -hmm. The size of these malls, man. I'm surprised I don't see more American license plates. I thought there'd be a lot more Americans out here. I mean, doesn't it even make sense that if you're an American, like, you cross through here just to go somewhere else? Hmm? Another Best Buy? <laughs> We're 15 minutes away from a restaurant. Which is in Mississippi, Gulo. A wide highway. In 800 meters, keep right at the fork to stay on Ontario 401 East. And your exit's coming up in 
think what sucks about Canada is just probably the weather in the, in the winter. Yeah. The, the weather. As far as like livability, it looks probably better than most places we travel to in the U.S. Yeah. Looks like it's got better livability, but crap, you know, the, the depression in the winter. They don't have any like tropical places. They should have bought Jamaica. That's what they should have done. Jamaica should be like a state of Canada. That way they can just go down there in the winter. Well, that's why Canadians go to Cuba. That's why there's so many Cubans in Canada. You know how the United States has all these travel warnings for Cuba? Canada has no travel warnings for Cuba at all. But it has travel warnings for the United States. Okay. <laughs> don't, not, not, get up down there. Okay. Canada doesn't have any travel warnings for Cuba. Remember when we went to Cuba and we met Canadians? Oh, yeah, they thought, like... They thought we were scammers. Yeah. Like, I don't know why you learned how to speak English, buddy. I'm like, I live in America. <laughs> so we went to Cuba, and we were, like, in a, in a very desolate place, but there's resorts out there, mostly Canadians and Spaniards and stuff like that. Well, our car that we rented broke down in, like, the most desolate... I want to be on the right. It starts moving here, went to the right. Uh -huh. You're going to be getting off in about four, four kilometers, which is... Two and a half miles. So. Uh, for Ontario. Uh, for the exit Ontario. is Brompton, Dixie Road. Dixie Road. Yeah, Highway Four, Dixie Road, Bramp, Brompton, Ellington. Okay. Yeah, stay in this lane. What was my story about? Oh yeah, so we broke down in the middle of nowhere in Cuba. I mean, like middle of nowhere. And the only thing nearby, we we, we needed to get some tools to fix the car and some water and stuff. So we can kind of get the car going again. And uh, the only thing nearby was a resort full of Canadians. And we're like, hey, I live in the United States, man. Like, I'm an American just like you, you know? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, I don't know why you spoke English so well, buddy, but you're not going to fool me, you scammer. I was like, like, my car broke down. I'm like, I don't know why you learned to speak English like that, buddy. Didn't we show the guy my passport and he still didn't believe me? They didn't believe us. Yeah, speed up a little bit. Because you're going to have to make any plate changes. You don't want to have cars blocking your blind spot. Yeah. When you're on an interstate like this, make sure there's never a car in your blind spot in case you got to change lanes yeah. quickly. So like, if you're paralleling him, and you need to change lanes, you won't be able to. Five kilometers to that Dixie, Dixie Road. Ro Dixie Road, yeah. So yeah, the Canadians didn't believe us. They were like, I don't know where you learn how to speak English, buddy, but... I know you're a Cuban and I know you're a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> and we, nobody helped. Like, all the Canadians there. You know, you tell a compelling story, mate. Or, or fam. I don't know how you speak. You tell a, if they're from Toronto. You tell a compelling story, fam. <laughs> Can't believe you. Is that a Subaru dealership? Mm -hmm. Dang it, Subaru. Fujifilm. Mm -hmm. They make great cameras. I've always wanted a f another Fujifilm camera. No wonder they're great. They're made in Canada. <laughs> McLaughlin Road. The infrastructure in here is insane. I mean, this leaves most. I I can't even think of another American city that's like this. Follow signs for Ontario 410, Brampton. The infrastructure is insane. Maybe Houston. And even Houston, you drive down the highway, see like trailers and like burnt down houses and stuff. This is an incredible infrastructure. There's a Kia plant right there. And they have the Korean flag. Keep left. Don't they say that Houston has the widest highways or whatever? This is pretty wide right here. Okay, let me take a Continue for one and a half kilometers. Okay, to continue for one and a half kilometers. I love how she's talking to us in kilometers now. Like if we knew what the crap a kilometer was. Okay. Look at the traffic though. Woohoo! I don't know, this is a pretty big interchange here. Great infrastructure. In 800 meters, use the right lane to keep right at the fork. Continue on exit 344 and follow signs for Ontario 410 North, Ontario 403 West. If this was America, there'd be cars this flying. Exit here. Yeah, mm -hmm. next exit, yeah. Yeah. If this was America, like United States, there'd be cars flying all over the road, speeding past each other, hawking a horn at each other. These people are so civilized, bro. Right 
see the city from here yeah oh this is gonna be amazing well you can see the skyline oh look at the cn tower yeah the cn tower you can see the cn tower oh, okay sorry you done yeah i've always wanted to see that thing and now i've seen it you're gonna see it yeah you've seen it i think we'll take a shower and we're going to toronto at night or no i don't know or wait till tomorrow yeah mm. so it turns to the left, it, it's, it's on the right, so stay on the right. Stay on the right? Yeah. Okay. And you can take this lane all the way through, fly through there. Fly through here? Yeah, teach these Canadians how we drive in America. You're good, because you're getting off on the right. You're good, you can fly through there. Okay. You're good to go. You're getting off at the next row exit. Okay. Let's go, speed up so you can get something. Okay, 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 okay. You see how rude we are in America? <laughs> Teach them how rude we are in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> we're looking at our license plate. Like, yep, they're from Florida. Okay, so the next exit you'll get off. Wow, the whole city's gridlocked right now. From here to like the whole thing, mm -hmm. it's just one blob of red. We'll be there in five minutes. I'm so excited to be here. I never thought I'd go to Toronto. One of my best friends growing up went to Toronto when he was a kid, and, and like he'd tell us stories about how cool it was. Skyline over here. Look, there's like a whole skyline over there. Oh, that Mississippi place has a skyline. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like Miami, but not tropical. Look, there's like a whole skyline over there. What? Am I how getting off the at, look. Yeah. Eglinton? Yeah, yeah, you're getting off there. Wow, look how modern the buildings look. In 300 meters, keep right to continue on exit 122. Follow signs for Eglinton Avenue. When you get off at the light, you'll take a left. Look at that keep skyline. Keep right to continue on exit 122. I thought this was just like a suburb like in the United States. That's like a whole city over there. Mm -hmm. It's got in a huge meters, skyline. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto Eglinton Avenue. I mean, literally, like, before we go to the hotel, we'll go there. Mm -hmm. It's like a whole skyline, like a whole city. What? I can't believe that we've traveled all across America and then we come to Canada. And it's like impressive. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto Eglinton Avenue East. Is it going to be on the left? Left, yeah, left. Okay. And then once you get up, it'll be on the right. But you'll, you'll have to wait now. Look, there's like a whole skyline over there. Buildings and everything. Mm -hmm. No beggars. Continue on Eglinton Avenue yeah. East. Where are the people kilometer. begging for money? I had a dollar, a Canadian dollar. Oh, all we have is Canadian money. Mm -hmm. You have Canadian money? Mm -hmm. Yo! I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Nobody's begging. Where are the beggars? $500 fine for littering. Yeah! Interesting sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, buddy. No littering in Canada, eh? We litter, we litter you. Litter me, we litter you. No littering. We're a clean country. Yes, no littering. Hmm. 
Hmm. There you go. Thank you. Oh, people think I'm bossy when you're driving. The problem is I have the GPS, so like. Yeah. <coughs> of course I'm gonna sound bossy. Please don't hit the curb. Mm -hmm. Oh, speed up so you can pass the truck. Turn signal. First, she's not a great driver, so I have to stay on top of her so that she doesn't crash my cars. And second, it's like, well, if you think about it, I have to be bossy because she's driving. I gotta look out for her. I'll be on the right at the next intersection. In 600 meters, turn right over? onto Tonkin Road. Yeah, I'll get over. Once you take this right at this intersection where the light is, where the light is. Okay. Is that an ambulance or a bus? Bus. Should I get behind the bus? Uh, right yeah. The road. Yeah, get, don't, don't, don't rush in. Yeah, just stick it right there. Don't rush. Don't, don't, don't drive crazy. And then, you're good. Immediately you take a left once you, take, once you get, like, once you incorporate. Okay. okay to go. You're in a big city. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to hit the bus. So you're three car lengths away from it. In Make sure you stop. Meters, turn left onto Canadian Place. Where I can go? Oh, yeah. Go, go, go. And it's going to be on the are, left. Well, they're pronounced. They're pronounced. It's on the left. The curbs are pronounced. It's in there. Take a left. Turn left onto Canadian Place, then turn okay, left. Okay, just so you know, the curbs are pronounced, so make sure you don't hit them. Yeah. You've got, like... Too close to that curb. You were like literally on the curb. They're pronounced, they're not like flat. His idea of two inches is probably like. No, no, you were check. literally on top of the curb. You, I don't know how you didn't hit it. Can you imagine the nightmare of having to change a rim here in another country? Who knows what you'd have to do to figure that out. Okay, it'll be on the left at the end, on the other side of the roundabout. Okay. You'll hit a roundabout and it'll be on the left back there. Okay. So turn left, then turn left. There it goes, just go on right. Just go into that plaza to the left. This plaza? Yeah. Okay. Left, and then it's going to be where that white car is coming on up, so you go to the right now. Slow down. Back in there. Okay. Don't run the people over, please. Of don't run them over. <laughs> Alright, somewhere back in here. It's back in this corner. La Bonita. Yep. Okay. Park out here to open. Okay. Your destination is on the left. Ready, my love? Yeah. There. All right. And we're here. Mm -hmm. Take it. Take it off for uh, roaming. Okay. We're in Canada. Mm -hmm. Stepping foot in Canada. Some Colombian food in the Toronto area. Okay. What the hell? Stepping foot in Canada. Yeah, buddy. Up here. It's kind of cold. I'm wearing my American Eagle sweater. Cold, windy. Kind of very quiet and desolate looking. Welcome to Canada. And we're gonna eat at this Colombian restaurant because this looks. There's like literally a skyline over there. All right, guys. That's it. We're in Canada.